Hi, this is Dushan and in this short video I'm going to show you how you can create and use bit flags in JavaScript. Now this is a strange thing to do in JavaScript since it doesn't offer any significant performance improvement or anything. It's just a fun thing to do. Let me take you through a quick example. Let's say that we are developing a simple tile-based game where the player can move in any of the eight directions represented here in this ASCII compass. <laughs> ASCII compass. So the player can move north, northeast, northwest, west, east, and so on. Here is a little map segment with our player and traversable and non-traversable tiles. These solid tiles, for example, are non-traversable and the player can only move to one of the more transparent ones here. We can use bit flags to represent these directions and as you can see here, I've packed all of the eight directions in a single byte. The traversable directions are marked with one and the non-traversable ones with zero. Very simple and compact. JavaScript, of course, only has 64-bit floats, so we won't save much memory by packing Boolean values in this way. Now, let's move on to implementing this in code. First, I'll define all of the directions inside an object. North is going to be 1. I use the shift left operator just to have symmetry with other properties down the line. The byte equivalent of this JavaScript number 1 will be 7 zeros and 1 at the end. Next I will define northeast and I'll shift the number 1 left by one position. The same is repeated for east which will have number 4 as the value. And the same goes for all the other ones as well. If I log the directions object, we can see all the decimal values. Now, let's define the traversable directions. Previously, I said that the player could move north, northeast, and east. I have chained those options using the bitwise or operator and they are stored as a single numeric value. I'm going to print the binary representation of our traversable directions by using two string with two as the base and I'm going to pad the number up to eight binary digits. Cool, now we have the bit flags properly set. The only thing left is to check if a particular flag in the traversable directions is set and this is done using the bitwise and operator. Here I will check if north is traversable and this expression should evaluate to true. We can confirm it by logging the expression to the console. Okay, good. I will repeat the same for northeast and for all the other directions as well. Yeah, that's it. I covered this topic in way more detail in a blog post on my website. So go check it out and the link is in the video description below. Also, let me know in the comments what programming topics you're interested in and I will consider them for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and until next time.